Hello again, Mozarino32 fans. We have another short how-to for video for you. Today, I want to look at how to configure the Mozarino32 for ICW, that's uh, Morse code over the internet. If you're just starting out in Morse code, of course, it's very useful to be able to have practice QSOs with your fellow hams over the internet. Indeed, we get lots of questions on the forum asking how exactly you should do this and uh, we're going to have a look at the connections today. So first of all I'll bring up the connections which are available at any time in the uh, manual, the Mozarino 32 manual. The first thing you will notice is that uh, for the jack plug on the Mozarino 32 you will need a four pole jack plug. This is because uh, it is configured not just for line out going to your PC but also line out coming from your PC. So you can use the built-in CW reader uh, to actually read the Morse code for you. However, if you're like me, you like to use just the uh, speakers on your PC and listen to the Morse code, so you'll only need this connection. And you'll notice I've drawn an additional red line in here. That is because, um, although this is a mono signal, I want to make sure it goes to both the right and the left. Uh, so it comes out on both speakers at the other end. The rest is very simple, just a simple ground uh, and away you go. So that's easy enough to do. Let's now have a look at uh, the cable I made. I'm going to unplug it here, it's plugged into the Mozarino 32 at the moment. You'll notice that uh, I have a very small four pole jack plug there. And this is actually from an old pair of uh, Samsung headphones from my Galaxy Note 2, which I no, no longer use. Uh, the internal wires on this are quite delicate, but it's not too hard to do. Um, you just have to be patient with the soldering. At the other end, I have just a very simple, just a very simple uh, three-pole jack plug. There you go. So I'm going to plug that back into my PC now. and plug this back into the line out on the Morse Reno 32. There you go. And let's switch it on now. And you'll notice that we start off in the CW Kia mode. So let's move along and go to transceiver. When we give a short click, we find well, there's low RA transceiver first. We don't need that today. Uh, just be very careful that you have an antenna uh, plugged in before you go into LoRa. That could damage the Heltec module. And we also have here transceiver ICW. So we click on that and it begins. We just test that we're getting a tone. There we go. You'll notice that the tone is still coming through the speaker, but we also get a line out uh, via our line out socket. So now the next part, of course, is to start the Mumble app. Now I'm got, not going to spend too long talking about how to configure Mumble. I'll put a link for the official website in the description and uh, that will give you lots of advice on how to configure Mumble, which really deserves a video in its own right. And indeed, there are plenty of videos already on YouTube showing you how to do that. There's no need for me to go over it here. Just uh, you'll notice here the server, you have a choice of servers. I've got ICW already programmed in. We'll just bring up the settings here so you can pause the video and have a look. The address 50.116.22.243 and then port is 34749. Uh, put your own call sign in as a username and label it whatever you want. I choose ICW. So that's simple enough. We connect this server. And you'll notice we come pretty quickly into the Save A Shula Graz room. And uh, we're not quite ready to go yet. We just have to configure our audio. That's again fairly simple. If you're going to configure and settings, we have our uh, line in device here on my PC. Uh, that's the blue uh, jack you'll find on your PC. Echo cancellation we don't need because we've got a direct line in. Transmits on voice activity. Um, I've gone for signal to noise and here you've got a bar showing us the audio. That's working very nicely. Okay, 
uh, we don't need to do anything else with that just check the audio outputs and yes I've got my uh, speakers in my monitor there and before we do anything else we're just going to test via the server with this thing here at the bottom it's called a loopback test let's choose server this means it will feed the audio in right to the ICW server and then back to me to make sure it's all working there should be a slight delay when I send now yep we've got that delay so that's working fine it means that our audio is getting to the server and it sounds quite nice in fact that is quite a good sine wave it's not a true sine wave but I think Willie uh, did very well in shaping the output and getting a, a pretty much a pretty pretty close to a sine wave certainly it's fine to listen to for long periods okay so we can come out of our settings, that's all done. Of course you can take your time and fiddle around with these much more. You will need to change your input settings uh, to allow for your internet connection. So compression will have to be changed if you've got a slow internet connection. We don't need to look at that today, we can get straight on. And now if I send, I've got a green person, um, that's me, LE6FVG, in the Graz Morse Code School room. If I send, that should change slightly. There you go, and you get some little lines. It shows that the audio is coming through, and I go blue. Let's just go through. We've got W3GW here. Let's see if uh, we can hear him or he can hear us. This might be interesting. And you right click on the room and then just select join channel. You join testing room. And uh, let's see if he can hear us. Maybe he's busy testing, he doesn't want to talk to us, which often happens. But you'll often find people just hanging around uh, in these rooms and they'll be very happy to have a QSO with you. Now, I don't think uh, W3GW W3 is, uh, is not going to talk to us, that's a shame. Uh, you'll notice also while we're here, you can also go for ebook practice and join this room. You join the ebook called Prestige Erste. That's going to be a bit fast for some people, so we'll come out of there and go back to the CV Schule Graz. You join CV Schule Graz. So there you are. As you can see, Connecting to the internet with the Morserino 32 is not as difficult as it might seem at first and uh, before you know it you'll be having all kinds of QSOs with beginners just like you. Okay, well I hope you find that useful and we'll see you all again soon.